What's up guys, Train Fanatic 24 here. Today I'm at the Arkansas Railroad Museum here in Arkansas and we're, I'm over here just walking around. My grandpa's probably behind me. I don't know if you can see him behind me there, but he's, we're just enjoying a, a good time right now. We just decided to come here and uh, get a get a look around to see what was here and what is here and everything else. And we're just having a good time walking around. And right now I'm walking around. I left him behind for a minute so I could do this real quick and I came over here to see what was over here and uh, yeah right now I'm actually looking at some pretty cool stuff so uh, yeah and uh, look at this got an end scale layout of a cornfield you got the crop duster and uh, you got a layout right here you got another one right over there with a the moving engine. But um, all that over there, everything. And uh, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will uh, continue filming, guys. Hey, you definitely bring a classroom and Santa Claus wrote in. <laughs> Santa Claus? Yeah, Santa Claus wrote in. Hey, there's the Freedom Train. Mm -hmm. Look at the map. Yeah, see? Look. See where it, see where it all went? All went Dang south. That, he, Joe wasn't kidding when he said it comes straight into Texas because it comes right comes right through That's here and goes up. right into Texas, doesn't it? Come out of St. Louis, came right down through uh, Is Pine Bluff Memphis, in Memphis, right, come right through, huh? There's all timer. Yeah. Oh, and it comes right down through there and it goes right into Texas. It comes all the way down. But it branches it. off and goes halfway into Louisiana. It just branches. And then it branches off and goes back down to Texas. Mm. Wow. They they converted this into Look. The, look. The, the 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 engineer sat right here and look out these windows. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Look, listen, live. Damn, he done plowed into something right there and blew it to bits. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, demo. Is that a? Oh sh! Wow. Derailment. Got you a sink. What's right here? Tractor equipment? Yeah. Uh -huh. Repair. Repair equipment. Look like they got them back here. They. We haven't been in this one yet. This is like a sleeper car, kind of. Yes. Yep. It's, it's got its own bedroom, two bed. Mm -hmm. It's kind of dark shower. in here, though. Cabinets, shower. It's a this sleeper car. That's exactly what this was. Mm -hmm. Go all the way down there. Yeah, that that was a private. Yeah, that is. This is this is the one that was for just everybody slept. Yeah. Ain't really much to look at it down through here, though. Now we're going to go up into 7012. Get up on this damn thing. It's quite a step up here, huh? Ooh. Now we're in the cab of a locomotive. Show you around here. This is where the controls were when you turned on the locomotive. It turned the big, it turned the big engine on back over behind here. Right back over there. And then this is where the controls were. Well, controls are. Flip that. Can't really do nothing with it. And then you throw the throttle. And it'll move forward and you're off. Off you go. Got your gauges. Look out the window. And, uh, yeah. And I'm going to film myself climbing down off this damn thing. Because this thing 
this this locomotive is uh quite a ways up i'm gonna climb down now <laughs> so here we go oh boy Ooh. God, it's just like it's just like working out at TGS when I was climbing on them locomotives. Those little boys up in there, they, 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 they tickled done, death, huh? Oh, they done a hundred mile down the track. <laughs> and uh, here we are with uh, Thomas. Thomas, the tank engine's kind of uh, out of service. He kind of broke down. I don't know what's going on with him. But poor Thomas. Now we're making our way to the old telegraphs and the old power boxes and I guess that's what these were. Um, yep. Continue on through here and uh, look around. And a bunch of old typewriters and uh, um, I guess these are old furnaces over here, old fireplaces where you could keep warm and make yourself some food or something right here and everything. I don't know exactly. Stove from the Thieves Bridge Tender Shack. Okay. And then you got your old typewriters right here. Let's type in eight, eight nineteen. Eight, where's the one? One, one, nine. Or eighty one nineteen, there you go. That'll work. It is extremely hot, so excuse the sweat. That was probably You think so? It could have been oil, oil burner. Uh, go around back. Look on the other side. See if there's anything. But wow, it's big and it's hot. <laughs> I'm outside the building. We're outside the building now, and I'm out here walking along this big ass crane sitting right here, and it's a. Uh, it's a bit of a walk through a yard here. I'm walking down to the end of the rail yard right here. There used to be a turntable and everything else down in here and I, they all tore it up. I'll take a picture of it and show you guys right now. And uh, yeah, there used to be a turntable. There used to be a big yard. There's the end of it right there. That's where they all come in at right here. And I think that turntable and everything sat right in here in this big field. Because if I'm looking at the building correctly on that map, this was the side where the turntable was at. Or, if I'm not mistaken, it was on the other side of the building. I'll have to go look because the, the attachment to the turntable was between both buildings and I gotta find it. There's a major freeway right there. Big 18 wheeler just came through. And uh, yeah, this is a big crane. This you, They pick up them 80,000 ton locomotives or however tonnage it was and yeah. I'm not going to go into too much of a history lesson here because I'm just enjoying my vacation down here and I'm, I'm enjoying the scenic route and everything. So we're going to go back into the building and I'm going to try to get me a drink. I'll see you guys in a minute. SN85 Transportation Corps. Let's go up here real quick. This is a snow plow, everybody. Let's go up in here and take a look. You got a lever here. You got your, your heater over here where they could keep warm during the winter. And uh, I guess these are hot water tanks. And uh, this, the drivers had their adjusting levers here. And this is the snow plow right here, guys. It just snow and everything else. And uh, yeah, you can also look out the window here. 
take you out there for a minute. Look around. We're up high, so we can see everything up here. And uh, I'm gonna bring you back down in here. Let's go back down and let's go back down in here real quick. I'll show you guys around up in certain areas. Oh goodness, I'm just having a good time climbing around on everything. So we'll enjoy this, and uh, I'll continue filming. Yeah, that snow is just. It's going out everywhere. It ain't. It ain't blowing. It's pushing. Probably originally the repair of the engine locomotive shop. Yeah. And they would bring it in, and they'd bring it over here, and bring it right in there, and then they move it down there. That's neat. Outside in the back portion of the building here. This is where the back portion of this building was and I think this is where the turntable was At one point, but this is not a turntable. This is like a sliding table You put the locomotives on this turn on this table here and it moved all the way over there and it moved over there and it had I ought to be able to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen doors and 14 tracks and then over here they got a tank car and three diesels or four diesels and two box cars they they said come out here at your own risk and we decided i'd venture out and, and walk around and film so that's exactly what i'm gonna do and uh, yeah and here's the uh here's the tank car i don't know if it's even sitting on tracks or not oh it is but the tracks are buried. All these tracks right here. This used to be a big rail yard through here. And uh, again, I will show you this map right now. And um, yeah, and it's just a huge rail. It was, it was a big rail yard. Um, steam engines, all kinds of stuff. The roundhouse and the everything else. And I. I'm gonna keep filming. I'm gonna keep walking around. I'm gonna go cool off real quick and everything else. I'm, I'm gonna take a minute, a bit of a break from filming and, and cool off because it's hot. And I will see you guys in a minute.
Well, is she being restored? Yeah. Look at all the rivets. That's not brick. That's wood. Is it? Yes. Now I want you guys to see how big this thing is. Mm -hmm. This thing is massive with the wheels. Look how tall I am compared to this wheel. Mm -hmm. Like, this engine is huge. This is the prize jewel right here. This is what we've been waiting for at the end of this video, guys. This is the 819 mm -hmm. cotton belt. Um, when did she say it was put in service? I gotta go, go over and look. I'll have to go over there and ask her. You know, it's right there so. on that board. We go to the park, and after, I don't know, after a while they blocked it where you couldn't. Well, you can only go into this area. Look at that. Yeah. You used to, yeah. Well, they, done, they got all the panel out now. Yeah, they done tore everything out. They got out. all that out, didn't they? Is that them? Of course, when it was cold and the wood they had here, he had to go over and he had to throw it in that water. And here we go with the other, the 336. Damn, she's back here in the back, just stored away. Now this locomotive here is the 336, now this and this is the other prize jewel right here. And uh, it was, what'd you say it was, built in what? This one was built in 1909, it was converted to, to burn oil in 1923. Wow. So it originally was wood. You can't get in there. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can't get in there. It cost $12,000 new. But, um, it looks like they're restoring her. And, uh, yeah. Come on, press the switch. So it's off. Green. Red. That means you need to stop. Oh. Well, it was yellow there for a minute. Yellow may mean, uh, I don't know how I got it to go yellow. Hang on a minute. A lot times yellow meant slow down so because there was a train getting off out of the way. Red means they better stop their butt. There you go. 